right. Hello, this is Mitchell, and we're going to have an unveiling today of a of a box of plants that came in. But before we do, I wanted to show you my fish tank as it now stands before I get the new plantings in. Um, if you remember last time we talked about it, we had a lot of grasses that I planted in here. Well, actually, they were many swords. Oh, you can't see that clump over there. I'll show it to you in a minute. Like this little grass right here. Planted all that back in here where this black, empty soil is. And um, didn't stay very long. Uh, it was kind of turning yellow, and then we got the big, giant rainbow fish. Uh, named Tank, and he kind of tore it out, and so now most of it's floating up here on top. But we do have our um, Anubis doing well in the back, and a little bit of, uh, uh, gosh, I can't remember what, what that stuff is in the back. Um, and then we have these two little plants that I like real well. These are micro swords, but they look like clumps of grass. And I think instead of trying to grow any more of the grassy stuff like that, I like floating up here, I'm going to try to fill this in with the micro swords. Um, I think they do real well, and they do well under both low light and high light, and so uh, they seem to be a bit not very picky. And you see how nice and brilliant green they are. And uh, my fish, as you can see, they're all clustering over here. Um, one thing that I've noticed, I don't know if you can see it, if it's in the picture. Can you see the red light strand? I have, I'm supplementing my aquarium light with red light. And wherever I put the red light, the fish all come and cluster under it. They really like the red light for some reason. So I can move it anywhere in the tank and the fish will hang out under there. So, um... I'm trying to do some research to find out why they do that. Um, but anyway, just wanted to point that out to you. And here we have a, a curly Q uh, aponogetum or apogenetum. I can never figure out how you say that. Um, the little autosynclus, you can see one up on a leaf up there and another one right here. They have cleared out all of the brown algae that was in here. And so now we're having to supplement their diet with zucchini. And I'm going to do that in a little while. And here's an autosynclus right on the glass. Um, also have a lily plant down here. It's brand new, just leafing out. So it hasn't had any of its leaves reach to the top yet. But it really likes the red light. And I'm hoping that it that's the reason I've got it on this side of the tank today, mainly to help this plant. Um, it's important to supplement your light in your tank if you have a planted tank with red light. But it might also be important for your fish. Um, as you can see, my fish really like it. Okay, now I'm going to move over to the other side of the tank. And, excuse me, on this side of the tank I have some more of the micro swords some more of the grass, and you can see that I've got a clump of grass back there. It's, uh, it's a uh, lilium of some kind. I've got a bronze, uh, what is that thing called, Ludwigia, right there, and then I've got some crypts in the back. I also have a ball of um, peacock um, moss here. And what I'm finding out, I keep tucking it in the crack in that driftwood, and it keeps coming out. And um, so what I found, just purely by accident, is that I, I mix some of this grass in with it. It tends to, the grass tends to hold it better in a ball, and it doesn't escape as easily. Right now, I've got a big old ball of it under the sponge filter because it escaped. So I'm going to have to retrieve it from under there. So that's my tank as it now stands. Um, you can see my rainbow fish are doing well and my little um, thread fins are doing well. I've only got one Gertrudei left, but she's in there somewhere. So um, we're going to do the unveiling now of the plants that I got from Dustin's uh, 
what's it called, Dustin's Fish Tanks? Is that the name of his business? And uh, I can't remember what I ordered, so it's going to be a surprise for all of us. Okay, hi, I'm Elaine Kitchell. Um, I wanted to open this nice box that I got today from Dustin's Fish Tanks. See, anybody can be Vanna. And, um... Like I said, I can't remember what I ordered, so it's going to be a surprise for both of us. So, uh, without further ado, I'll try, I'll get this open and we'll look and see what I've ordered. And there may be a surprise in there too, you just never know with Dustin. Dustin lives here in the same state that we do. No, he doesn't. He lives in Kentucky, just across the river, and in Lexington. It kind of feels like the same state. And, um... So we like to support him because he feels kind of local and, you know, he's a good guy and a uh, real spot of energy in the fish keeping arena. And we like him. So let's see what he sent. Okay, so first thing we have is a big old wet bag. Okay, it looks like everything's in here. So we'll have to take them out one by one. So first I'm going to cut the... I'm not going to bother trying to untie that. It would take forever. And there's nothing else in the bag but this. Okay, and another bag within a bag, which is always a good idea in case there's a leak. We all, we all appreciate that, don't we? Okay. So, got this open, and um, let me get out my, ah, it says two extras. Tank, tank on, Jordan, that's what it says. So, I kill myself, Elaine, but my first name's Jordan. Okay, so, let's see, we've got a... These are okay even though they look rough. So that's the purple swords. They will... Okay, so... I couldn't read part of what he read. It's not his fault. I'm sure his writing's fine. It's my vision. So I'm just having to guess at some of what he said. Um... But it sounded like he said that the, that the two purple swords were looking kind of rough, but they'll be okay once they get in there and get growing, which that's probably true. And something about, I ordered a, um, a lotus, the red lotus, and he grows those himself from the little bull bills, I think they're called, or corms. And so it might be small, I think he said. But that's okay. We're, you know, it's all part of the adventure. Now, I think we agree that fish keeping is an adventure. And so if you look at it as all part of the adventure, then just about anything that happens becomes okay. All right, so I've got a big wet wad in here. And let's see what we've got so far. Okay. We've got, looks like an Anubis. I think this must be one of the free gifts. Looking good. Nice healthy roots. You always want to look for white roots, not black or dark brown roots. Tan roots is okay, but these have nice white roots, so we know those are good. Looks like some swords, nice white roots, uh, what do we got here, uh, we've got some of the um, copper colored uh, Ludwigia, I don't think I ordered that either, but maybe I did, okay, more, ooh, big tall sword, What 
Or a big tall. Well, that's a shorter sword, but I'll bet you it gets tall. I know I ordered some micro and some macro more, the big ones. Okay, some more of the bronze um, Ludwigia. Wet newspaper, comes with the territory. Uh, here we go, here's the purple. Oh, that's a fern. There we go. That's one of those Madagascar ferns. And another fern. And Ludwigia, different type. I was too high. Oh, I may have been doing that all the time. More Ludwigia. Maybe I got the purple sword of the fern too high. There we go. Fern. Uh, more fern. And, okay, here is the lotus. It's already started growing leaves. So there you see the corm, and he raises them himself from little teeny, teeny bulbils. Nice white roots. We always want to look for white roots. And the leaves of these come off very easily, but there is a nice um, delta-shaped leaf. I don't know what you call that shape in the plant world. In mathematics, we call it delta. So that's what I'm sticking with. Arrowhead, sort of. And then, aha, uh -huh, here's a baby lotus. And you see what a tiny little form they come from? Again, beautiful delta-shaped leaf. White roots. Doesn't get any better than that, folks. And some kind of little teeny curly grass that sneaked its way in there. Okay, so I'm going to get the ta tank planted with these. I already read this to them. Okay. So I'm going to get the tank planted, and then I'll show you the tank after I've got it planted. Copa. You're recording. All right, well, I wanted to show you the tank after I got it planted. Now, I'm not going to win any prizes, as you can tell, about aquascaping. Um, in fact, I could probably use a few lessons. But I kind of like the jungly look, because I like it to look like it would look, it, it, as it would be if the fish were in their home waters, just swimming underwater and doing their thing. And um, so that's kind of how I tried to make it look. So the ferns, which I identified as Madagascar ferns, I was wrong, but they are African ferns, and they're called Bacopa something or other. I'll get better with my names as I get more familiar with these. I didn't learn aquatic plants in college, so therefore I have a big memory um, problem. Uh, I planted a couple of the... Um, Anubis down here under this rock and you can already see where one of them is coming out because the fish were over here nosing around and looking and studying and tasting everything. Um, the, the yellow plant right back here that I thought was a uh, Ludwigia is not. Um, I've forgotten what the name is. I have such a memory problem. Um, I moved the little lotus over here a little ways and then I planted the other little lotus right there. Here's the big lotus. It's looking green. It's not looking red just yet. Um, and when I planted the bulb, these things are so fragile, all the stems and roots came off of the top of the bulb. However, they were attached to one another. So I think that they'll go ahead and grow and then I just, the bulb is still down under there somewhere, and it, um, 
it may need a rest or it may start growing out another set of leaves I'm not sure um, I planted some small Sagittaria that was um, just included as sort of a gift or I, sometimes I think it just gets mixed in I put the big um, what do you call those big tall things in back honey I'm having a terrible time um, swords yeah the swords in the back Valisneris is what it looks like they look like Valisneria but I don't think they are according to the name I saw on the chart and and they're supposed to turn purple after they get enough light and then I've mounted some more of the Bacopa fern uh, along here and the uh, give me that list I'll read it okay I, I couldn't read it so and then back here you see some beige looking plants and those are the Ludwigia Bulbitis that were a gift. Bulbitis hudeloti. And red tiger lotus. This is the red tiger lotus that's and in there. the Copa Carolina yellow. That's what that is right there. The Copa Carolina yellow. I can't move quite that fast, honey. I'm sorry. I didn't and know. deep purple sword. Right, those are in the back. They look green. Okay, so they're deep purple swords. Mm -hmm. and that's the ones that are over here in the back. Right. Okay, well, I'm still on this side. Okay. And then what else? Anything else? No, nope. that's all there is listed. Okay. So, as you can see, uh, there are several little things I planted in here that just sort of got mixed in and were complimentary and that's the great thing about ordering from Dustin is that you know he's he's not real fussy if something gets in there with your stuff it most of the time it's okay he just includes it along so there are a couple of interesting little plants that I've planted over here I have no idea what they are but they look interesting have little petal shaped uh, leaves on them and so I'm gonna just leave them in there and see what they do so that's it on my jungle tank full of my rainbow fish um, I don't know if we've caught it on on tape here but the um, thread fins back there are just mating like crazy there are uh, two males that are chasing the three or four females and they're going over underneath the sponge filter I'm gonna let Dwayne pan over and they're making a home right down under here and they're laying their eggs so it's been fun to watch them and then of course the males have to challenge one another and chase each other off and it's interesting because they all want to lay their eggs right over under that sponge filter so uh, we'll see what happens um, but it's been it's been fun to watch because the little thread fins are so decorative and they do have so many little uh, funny little motions that they do with their uh, fins and their uh, their long thready like fins and they have these little um, fins on top of their head that stand up like like stop signs and they're just really cool little fish so anyway there you have my jungle tank um, feel free to tell me what you think and um, if you see something that I've misidentified or I've just said something completely in error. Please let me know because um, I'd like to be correct about things. And I, as I'm just learning about the fauna, fauna and flora of uh, a tank. So um, help me out if you think I need it. Thanks a bunch.